When I came to Houston many years ago, I tried joining organizations in my community college to cover the emptiness I felt leaving my family in Mexico. However, it wasn't until I experienced the warming welcome of SHEP and some members collaborating to help each other that I, I felt I found a new familia. Because it is this characteristic that defines SHEP apart from the other student societies. It is our strong relationship and teamwork that allows us to build on each other's experience, giving us a sense of belonging and a motivation to better ourselves. I have prepared myself for this position since my first year in college, since uh, working with a diverse set of uh, uh, leadership, leadership organizations. I, I tried becoming the most active member by attending all the events I could. I work with various chairs planning and preparing events and even joined the mini e-board this past semester. Thanks to this involvement, I now know every member in the chapter and understand that needs as well as the challenges our chapter will be facing next year. I did all this because I want to give my best performance as your next president. Because I know every member, I, I want to have every member experience the same growth as we had. My main focus for next year encompasses three points. Orbiting the, the idea ship is a supporting familia. Ex connecting with our fellow STEM departments, expanding our mentoring program and uh, expanding our expanding our mentoring program and uh, expanding uh, and uh, also expanding our companies. We'll attract more students from the technology, science, and mathematics departments so they can experience as well the great the great benefits of SHIP and be become the future leaders we are looking for. Members should also have the chance to grow as leaders alongside our e-board and chairs. Therefore, I will work with chairs to create solid committees so this new influx of, of members not only attend our events, rather help create them. Connecting with a diverse set of industries is the best way to prove we support everyone in STEM. For this reason, I wanna, connect, I wanna work alongside our next VP so we can connect with the, these new industries because I want every, every member in our chapter to grow as a professional and reach your potential. When I founded the Engineer Student Organization in ACC, I could not expect new leaders like Mario, Emmy, and Arash to make it a, a professional chef chapter. Yet, I still feel extremely proud our efforts allow new members like my brother to become leaders as well. And as president of Chef U of H, I wanna have the same feeling whenever, when our efforts allow members obtain their internships and their dream jobs. The most valuable asset in SHEP to accomplish this mission is ourselves, each SHEP member. Because by giving and men mentoring each other, we use our collective experience and knowledge to let the person walking behind us have an easier path and reach further. I am fortunate, fortunate to have experienced how a mentor changes your journey. After applying, to, after applying and getting rejected to 100 internships, my friend and mentor, Luis Quintanilla, suggested an internship he had in the past. I applied on the spot, and a week later, I was notified I was accepted. In addition, if it wasn't for my first mentor, I wouldn't have been able to, get, to participate in a NASA program or live in Taiwan for a year. And, and the main point I wanna have for next year is to expand the mentorship program to host new events where, where students can have mutual mentoring, where students can have mutual mentoring with, where they can share their experiences in their majors, as well also suggesting scholarships and internships. This, this new weekly events will serve as a social gathering where members will, will help each other and keep each other accountable so we can have a more personal bonding, strengthening our sense of familia. It was in my time in Asia where, it was in my time in Asia where, where I noticed how the world sees Hispanics. They, they know our music and they, they know we like to celebrate for any occasion. They love the food we serve in our tables, but it is rare they relate us with professional success, innovation and technology. This made my life goals 
aligned with Chef's vision to make the world see the power and talent Hispanics can bring to any team. Arturo, thank you for your speech. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to be asking you a couple of questions. Sure. All right, so given the situation we are currently facing, if the university continues to hold courses and events online, how would you move forward managing the executive board, chairs, and the chapter? I will guide everyone, uh, everyone with weekly or even uh, two or three meetings a week so we can uh, connect and have uh, the work that we're going to do in the future in a, in a more organized way. And then as well, we can also interact with our members so we can see which other possibilities they want to have in our, or in our online events. If they want to have more, uh, the same kind of events but online or serve with more social events with this kind of platform. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, taking into consideration different personalities and friendships among the leaders, this being executive board and chairs, how are you planning to develop your executive board and chairs to be on the same page to achieve the goal set for the upcoming year? The main plan to work as a team would be to use the free time we have before the semester starts next fall uh, and bond as a team so we can understand the weaknesses and strengths every, every pillar of our team has. So we can uh, support each other and help e each one of us grow and uh, so we can uh, emphasize on those weaknesses and make, have the best performance once the semester starts. More, uh, also having more personal, what, uh, more social events on the, through, the, through the summer with having all the e-board and chairs so we can all get to know each other and start, start working as a team since day one. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to give you a, a situation and I'm going to be asking you uh, how would you go about that, solving this, uh, bringing a solution? So uh, let's say there's an executive board member that has been slacking and not keeping up with their tasks. You have, you have had some discussions with them on the side to see what can change, and they promise you that they will improve. Time passes, but you still find yourself taking up extra work and having the rest of your team volunteer to accomplish that individual's task. Please walk me through what you would do to fix this problem and how, do you, how you would go about solving this. Can you repeat the second part? It throws a little bit. Uh, yeah, so um, the time passes, but you still find yourself taking up extra work and having the rest of your team volunteer to accomplish that individual's task. Please walk me through what you would do to fix this problem. Yes, I would try to talk with that person that is uh, having difficulties keeping up with the work with the team. It might be, it might be personal issues that doesn't allow that person to perform, perform as expected. So I would, like, I would like to see if there's a possibility to fix that uh, lacking of, uh, of work or if the occasion uh, makes it uh, forces to, I would recommend that person to just uh, drop the position so that person can focus on their personal and academic uh, situations and then uh, see if I, another person or later, later on another person can come in and. Uh, help us fulfill that position with 100% uh, motivation. All right, and the last question. On top of Shep's mission and vision, our chapter is structured around five key pillars. Could you please let me know what your plans are to improve on each one of those pillars? Mm -hmm. So for the academic pillar, I would, I would work with a mentorship program, as I mentioned. So because I, I believe guiding and mentoring uh, mutual mentoring between all the members, it's the most valuable thing we can have because all different experiences gives us a higher sense of, uh, well, gives us an, an, a different possibility to grow as members. Uh, that would be the main focus for the academic, just guiding us because, guiding us as a team because as individuals, we can uh, achieve great things, but as a, but together we can do the impossible. Mm -hmm. For the outreach committee, I will keep the same work, trying to keep uh, uh, our ju SHEP juniors expand into possibly one or two more high schools so we can have 
a more a higher impact in high school students. And if possible, they can come at AC at U of H and have uh, this, the desire to work in our chapter since their first year over here. Uh, I would also work with uh, our cha chapter development, connecting with other chapters around uh, around our area with academic as well as uh, sport events. So we can see how different students from uh, other universities uh, can, um, well, how they work between uh, between their their pillars as well, and have a more interaction. Ha and we can have members having a better interaction with this other other universities. The leadership pillar. The best the best thing I would like to have is solid committees, so every member can work in their leadership skills, not only by being chairs or e-board, but just by helping helping us build new events and uh, attending our regionals and national conventions. Mm, let's see. What other, uh, what other pillars am I missing? One, two, three, academic, professional. Success outreach, academic, prof academic, professional. Yeah, academic and professional. It will be for professional. I will I will make it work the same way as our leadership pillar. So the members that attend our leadership events and try to become leaders, since uh, even when they are members, they can work with their professional development as well, being more professional and attending our 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 future events of uh, resume critiques, mock interviews, and uh, even learning with the e-board and chairs, working as alongside them, learn uh, with personal experience how they have to, what things they have to do to become uh, their best professional. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Arturo. Mm -hmm.